Hello there, my fellow Steamians and D-tubers and those of us who are in this wild and wacky place <laughs> called cryptocurrency. What do we do? Well, here are some battle strategies that you can use when crypto is being killed. We've got someone who's going to help you. He's got a lot of wisdom, a lot of smarts on how to make this happen, and he's telling us what we can do and how to look at it. You want to join me as I talk with the world-famous Steamian who knows what's going on, Exile. Okay, we've seen what's going on with Steemit. We've seen what's happening with crypto in general. It's bloody out there, kids. <laughs> you go over to coinmarketcap.com and we're seeing blood, red, all over the place. Not as much green as we'd like. And let's face it, we're uh, into 2018 now quite a ways. We, when we got started, we thought, hey, it's going to go down a little bit in January, but it'll be back up eventually. And guess what? Eventually has not arrived yet. <laughs> and so <laughs> we're wondering, what do we do right now? Well, I wanted to get some clarity on this for me, for you, and find out what's doing. And I thought the perfect person to help us out today is Steemit's own Exile. That is Exile joining us right now from his offices over there in Holland. It is so good to have you with us today, Mark. How you doing? Hello, Terry. Thank you for having me. I'm doing very well. How are you yourself? Oh, doing fine, even in the midst of all the things going on. So what I want to do is we're going to start, you know me, I like to start at the big uh, 45,000 foot level, look down and say, okay, here's what's going on. And then if it's all right, get into some nitty gritty. You and I have been talking a little bit before we started doing the recording here about where we are with crypto today. And so let me just ask you this. You got pe we've got people out there, our fellow Steemians, our fellow D-tubers that are out there and they're going... Holy Toledo, or maybe a few more colorful military expressions on what's hmm. going on and wondering what's happening. Where are we? Is it time to throw in the towel? Is it time to say forget crypto or what? What do you think, sir? Oh, when it comes to crypto? Oh, definitely not. I think, yes, we are in a downtrend and it's a bad one. It's much worse than I thought it would be, but here we are. But the, the technology blockchain is here to stay and the markets are just finding their way and I expect them eventually to turn around. And when it comes to Steam, uh, Steam is a different beast because we all know that on Steam, uh, the problem with a Bitcoin for instance is you buy a Bitcoin and then it either goes up or it goes down and there's not much you can do about it, that's it. But with Steam, even though there, the Steam token is coming down, you can still blog, you can still make videos, you can still create content, and you can still earn Steam tokens. And it's a huge benefit uh, compared to, to Bitcoin that you can still well, add tokens to your, uh, well, to your portfolio while the market goes down. And I think people should keep doing that. Yeah, yep, definitely when agree. it comes to Steam. Yep, I think you're right. I think when we got to look at it, and this is the whole thing. I mean, this is a really serious video. So uh, my fellow Steam as you're watching this right now, we're looking at what's going on. And of course, we know things can change at any time. And we are, neither one of us is a financial planner. We're not making any financial advice. The only advice I'm giving right now is I strongly encourage you to invest in your education invest in learning, invest in reading, invest in studying what's there, and most of it's being free out there. But uh, we see what's happening. Now, as we look at what's going on, though, uh, I love the videos that you put out with at Exile. That's at and then E-X-Y-L-E. -E. That's the Steam name that you, uh, those of you watching, you want to go to hear what he has to say. But uh, right now, what are you doing in regards to Steam back dollars and Steam? Are you just kind of sitting back and doing it? You're selling them off? Uh, what are you doing these days? What, I'm, what am I doing these days? Uh, I'm actually buying right now. Uh, when, when, when the markets are a bit fearful, like they are right now, I always think it's a good buying opportunity. But I don't give investment advice myself. Uh, what I do in my vlogs is I share what I do, but I never tell anyone, you need to do this or you need to do that. I want people like you to educate themselves and maybe hear uh, what I have to say. And if they like it, they can learn from it. And if not, well, then... That's also fine. And I haven't changed. I've been on the Steam blockchain since July 2016. And I went to Steamfest 1 in November 2016. That's where I learned that this place, the Steam blockchain, is 
is quite awesome. It's a uh, compared to other projects out there. It's a working, uh, well, working blockchain with working DApps, uh, decentralized applications. And I started to post. I started to create content, and I haven't stopped since November 2016. I've been creating content every single day, and I still do that. And in that time period, I saw Steam go to seven cents. I saw Steam go to seven dollars. Today, Steam is 90 cents. For me, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I make my content anyway, and I keep adding Steam tokens to uh, my, my wallet, my portfolio. I think that's extremely important. Thank and you. I, I agree with you. I think that's really important. Is you and I talked about that. It's very important to continually and consistently have that content because I feel that, uh, as we were talking about before we started recording, I love making money on Steam. It that's great, and it's nice to be able to do me it. Too. Wish we could do me more. Me too. <laughs> but it's great. But I think the one of the biggest, if not the biggest, benefit of Steam it is the fact that we get feedback really good feedback when people say i'm going to upvote this at 100% means hey they like it you know if they go i'm going to downvote it oh that's good feedback too it, it's painful but it is there but we know that what they're doing is a whole lot more important than just a like on facebook or retweeting on twitter or something like that this is really important information at least i'm thinking that what are your thoughts on that mark well i do like the feedback i get on my I usually get feedback on my more technical articles, I guess, or vlogs where I explain my ideas of how I'm thinking. And then some people say, no, you got it all wrong. This is how it is. And that's cool. That is fantastic. That's cool feedback. I also have a live blog. I write about, I like grilling, you know, maybe you've seen it. I like to drink a beer from time to time. And of course you don't get real feedback when you post these articles, but with these articles, people get to know you. So it's also beneficial right, to, uh, to post those from time to time. And Absolutely. Yeah, the whole combination, it works for me. And in the meantime, uh, I just earned my Steam tokens. And this is just something I wanted to say, because before we started this interview, you said, I'm posting a little less because my income or my payouts are going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to that. Those of you that are watching this, think about it. You might be incl inclined or might be doing this, saying, yeah, I'm not going to post as much because the prices are going down. And yet, there's another point of view that you have, Mark, that I think is really good. Please share that with us. Now, your payouts depend completely on the price of Steam. Mm -hmm. And what people forget is that the amount of Steam tokens you get for, for your post in general is relatively close to the amount of Steam power you have. And... The amount of steam you get for a blog post is also relatively the, the same, regardless of payout. So let me just give a quick example to make it more clear. If steam is $10 and your post is $100 on payout day, that means you will get 10 steam, right? 10 times $10 steam is $100. So now everything has come down. So steam is now a dollar. So let's say you have a $10 payout. That means that you still get 10 steam, because Steam is now $1, so 10 times $1 is still a $10 payout. Of course, it doesn't feel as nice because everyone likes to earn $100 compared to $10, but the amount of Steam you get is the same. And now this is the cool thing. Not many people know this, I guess. So when the price comes down, a lot of people stop posting. They leave or they, they, they leave it for a while until things recover. But the reward pool, that is the daily amount of tokens that are spread out over all of Steam, all of, all of us that are blogging on Steamit or on the Steam blockchain is the same. So while all the people are leaving, there's actually more Steam to go around. So it's actually very smart to keep posting. And even though your payouts go down, there's a good chance you earn a little bit extra Steam. And now I am a long-term believer in this, in this place. Yeah. So like I, I said- Long-term believer, you bet. Uh, when I got in Steamit, or the Steam blockchain was $4, then it went to $0.07, cents, then it went to $8, now it's $1. And I've never sold any of those tokens. I've still got all my Steam. And I, I want to collect more because I believe that with all the development we've been seeing, plus the roadmap Steam Inc. has put out for all of us, that this token will go up in value in the upcoming years. And yeah, I'm not in it for the now. I know a lot of people are, are in crypto for the now. They want it now. They don't want to wait. They want to be to the moon tomorrow if they have the chance. But usually in life, it doesn't work this way. Uh, you have to go through the grind. You have to do all the work. You have to 
well, invest your time or your money and you, have, you know, you take the risk and I believe it will pay off. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm working so hard on Steam. Yep, that makes sense. And so we see it's there. And I would say for those of you watching this, think about it. Now is a good time to be in there producing it. Keep producing that content, but think in terms of how you can repurpose it. Like for example, one of the things I'm doing, uh, Mark, you're using a uh, steep shot a little bit now and then, aren't you? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I've seen some of your things out there. Think about it. I'm using steep shot. And one of the things I'm doing is a lot of quotes. So yeah, I, I hear I a good quote and I go and I get a legitimate legal picture that I can use of the person that said it, like Einstein or so. I'll go to Wikipedia and you got pictures there of Einstein you can use legally and it's fine. And I have his quote. And now as a professional speaker that I am, I can use that again when I'm giving a speech sometime. I can go, you know, here's an important point of da 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 da. And it reminds me of something said by Albert Einstein, click and up would come that. Now I'm using that to get paid here. I'm repurposing it. So I put it on Steam Shot. I get a little bit of money there. And so what I would encourage you to do is start thinking creatively. How can you do even more? And then watch what does well. Watch that money that comes in, even if it's in a lesser amount, because that is, again, the best part of Steam that I believe is that feedback you get. Uh, maybe, else, but maybe even better, that would be the community. And the people that you yeah. get a chance to know, because there's some incredible, wonderful people there. But Mark, I'd appreciate any insights you have on that and the idea of repurposing well, the content and other benefits you could get from it. Well, I think what most people, when they come to Steam, it, they feel that they have to post life-changing content. I think this is one of the biggest mistakes people make who come onto this blockchain. I made the same. You know, you sit down and you start to think, oh my goodness, what do I have to post today that will inspire the world? And it becomes very boring, very heavy. It's not fun. I think people should have more fun on the blockchain. And I do a mix. So in the morning, usually I do a vlog and I do my research. And yeah, it's a more technical, but I enjoy it. And then at night, I just do an easy post or an easy post. I mean, I post something I've cooked, right? Or if I went to a party or I found a new beer that I think is nice. I mean... I know that content or any of my content won't change the world. It's, it's just, but it makes it more light. It makes it much easier to just, oh, I found this cool thing. I saw this cool car in the street. You grab your phone, you make a steep shot, and you just say, man, I found this car. I think it's great. And that's your content. It doesn't have to be life-changing. I think people should forget about that and just have more fun. I like it. So remember that. There's a good tweetable quote there. <laughs> it doesn't have to be life-changing. It just has to be fun. You know, focus on making it fun and where we can uh, be at that time. And of course, it's all predicated on the idea, we believe, and I do, that Steam, Steamit, and Steam tokens that are coming around, the SMTs, those Steam mm -hmm. media tokens, really are good long-term. Now, am I making a prediction? Am I giving any advice? Not at all. This is not advice, it's just personal opinion. But I think as you look at the fundamentals, it's not like crypto is going to go away tomorrow. It's not like, like the world is going to say, oh, okay, that's it. Crypto, we're no longer using that. We're going back to whatever we had before 2008. No, yes. that didn't work. And I think you look at blockchain technology, we know that is good. And we know it's going to be there. Now, does it go through ups and downs? Yeah, welcome to the planet. Okay, it works that way here on lots of things. And so my feeling is, fundamentally long-term, it can be good. And again, that is not financial advice for you. But Mark, I've been interested in your feeling. Long-term, where you go, and how long is long-term? Well, for me, long-term is around five years. Uh, you you got to understand something. So Steam Inc., or the, well, the, the people that develop the blockchain, they have well, sort of put out a roadmap where they want the blockchain to go. And they're developing this blockchain uh, with the idea in mind that 100,000 entrepreneurs in the future will utilize the Steam blockchain to empower their community or their application. And how do they want to do this? It's through something called smart media tokens or SMTs. They will come out by the end of the year or somewhere next year. It's not 100% sure yet. But yeah, I can see that that direction, uh, Steam is taking, is, yeah, it's going be it's going to be key. Uh, to think about when you when it comes to investing, um, because the Steam token will get a different purpose in that world, and this is where things get a bit of complicated. But you can already see it. So um, the Steam blockchain tends to reward people that add the most value to the blockchain, 
right? And at the beginning of this, of this whole endeavor, it were the bloggers. It were just the people that were closest to the reward pool that would get rewarded. But now you can see that there's a lot of development going on on the blockchain. People have realized, you know what? Instead of blogging, I can make an application that people can use to create content with, like SteepShot, like DLive, it's live streaming on the, on the blockchain, or DTube, it's video on the blockchain. And now these applications are well, getting a bigger and bigger part of that reward pool. But the cool thing is they can also dish that reward that they get back to the people that create content through their applications. Absolutely. Oh, and by the way, another platform that I have grown to love, just really love is D sound, putting yeah. some things out there. Have you done very much with D sound? I haven't used it yet, but I've seen a lot of people using it. And it's, a, it's a, an, another amazing dab that works. And this is key. So if you look at Ethereum, for instance, they have a lot of extra coins. They have a lot of projects that are going on, but how many of those are actually working? Uh, I think the biggest one was CryptoKitties and that just, well, the whole blockchain came to a grinding halt when that got popular because the, that blockchain can't right now handle all the transactions. Steam for, has no problem with it. Steam has been running for two and a half years. It can handle a hundred thousands of transactions per second. It, it's not even 1% under stress, even after all the applications have been built on top of it. So it's actually also, besides a working blockchain, it's actually a really good and fast blockchain that is worth yeah. checking out. Absolutely. I think uh, Dan Larimore did a good job putting that together. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Uh, just a brilliant guy. And Dan, if you're watching this, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate that. I think Dan and, and Ned Scott, the, the Ned. current CEO of, uh, of Steam, uh, Steam Inc., has done a, have, have done a tremendous job putting this together. And, of course, Dan went on to create EOS. But the team that is currently developing uh, the Steam blockchain is actually a very, very good. And there's actually new hardware coming out. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but there is a... Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. I've read about it and heard about it. It sounds very good. What's yeah. most appealing about the new hard fork? I believe it's hard fork 20. Is that right? It's, it's hard fork 20 and it's going to be marvelous. And the reason it's marvelous is because right now, I'm not sure if you have signed up any new users lately to the Steam blockchain, but it can take a bit of time. And the reason it takes a bit of time is because every user needs to be verified as a real person because it costs a little bit of Steam to create an account for a new person. Right? So that's why signups can take up to two weeks. You can, of course, also pay for it and then you get instant access. But, you know, paying for something you don't know what it is yet is not something a lot of people want to do. Yep. So they have to sit out the two, three weeks until they get an account. By then, they've probably forgotten about it and start to watch Netflix again. You know? So it's not great. But now with Hard for 20, it will be possible for not only Steemit, but also all the different adapts like DLive, DTube, or DSound, uh, SteepShot to onboard users through their applications. And yeah, it's gonna be much easier to become part of the Steam blockchain. So I can just imagine it like this. So you're on Google, uh, you're Googling your favorite game, and all of a sudden you come across this crazy website, DLive. What was, what's going on here? What are these people doing? And then you see like the, the, the live stream and you see the little payout and you're like, hmm, I want to check this out. But right now you have to go to Steam Inc or Steam It website and then you have to wait two weeks and then nah, that's not what you want. You want to sign up right then and there to check it out and to start using it or to start to comment. And that will be possible with Hot for 20. I expect an, a huge influx of new users because it will be so much easier to sign up. And yeah, I think that would be very, very good for the Steam blockchain. Of course, I, I, believe, so. I believe that activity on a blockchain, the amount of people that want to use your blockchain, is one of the key ingredients to make a blockchain work. Yep. And right now, we have been steadily above 50K active accounts. And active accounts means accounts actually doing something on the blockchain, like transacting or commenting or upvoting. And that's all besides all the people that are just reading or watching. Those are not in the 50K active account. I expect with this new block, uh, hard fork that we, we, this number will rise substantially. And uh, I think, I it think will, you're right. 
Yeah. I think you're right because we look at the, again, I'm going back to the fundamentals. A lot of people are really smart and will look at other areas, but I look at the fundamentals of anything. You've got to look at where they are. We know that the blockchain is not going away. We know cryptocurrencies not going away. When we look at Steemit, the fundamentals are there. The technology is good. There's a demand for that. There's people coming in and with hard fork 20 coming, it's going to be easier for more people to get in. Imagine what could happen. All it would take is in a moment, if we saw that the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission here in the United States, they say, okay, we're gonna approve this ETF. That's a big thing right now. They do that, it's gonna turn things quickly. And we're gonna yeah. see what's gonna happen. Now, are they gonna do it? I do not know. I have zero knowledge on that and cannot mm -hmm. persuade people and should not and don't want to try to persuade people to go one way or the other. The only yeah. thing I'm recommending strongly is you get education. And that education is online from the University of YouTube, the University of Google. Hey, go over to Steam it and I want you to read the articles that are there. That's what I want you to do and where it'd be best. For me, long term, it looks like we're, we're in a really good community here. We're in a good place that things are happening. And now it's understandable to be a little bit discouraged. But I think uh, long term, we've got some real good opportunities. What do you think, Mark? Oh, so this is just what's coming now. It's the hard fork 20 with easy signups. And that is in preparation of the next phase for the Steam blockchain. And in this next phase, it will be possible for anyone, you, me, communities, app developers, companies, to create their own token on the Steam blockchain. So you, let's say Terry Brock is a company and you have a community around you of 100,000 people using the community. You can just go to the Steam blockchain, sign up and make a Terry Brock coin. Or, I like that, Terry Brock or, coin, that's right. <laughs> or a token. A token. Now Terry Brock can add value to this token. You can do whatever you want with this token and you can use this token for free on the Steam blockchain. And of course, I'm not sure if the Terry Brock token will be worth something. Oh, it'll probably be worth a lot. In particular, they'll it, have really good haircuts with it too. Yeah, probably <laughs> will be worth hundreds of dollars each. But <laughs> that's what we're hoping. <laughs> yeah. But now replace Terry Brock with DLive. Now DLive can reward uh, their users with their own token. They can add value to their own token, which is even better than adding value to the Steam tokens because the Steam token you basically share with all the other applications out there. And even though you're working really hard, here's an application that's not working so hard, but it's also benefiting because you're working so hard. So DLive can now uh, add value to their own token, reward their own users, build their own community around this token, and they can trade this token on an internal market for Steam. Steam will be the main trading pair compared to, to towards all these other tokens. It's going to be marvelous. And why do I know this? It's because I've seen what one token can do and with one community. And I'm talking about the Steam token. So I came into Steam 2016. They had one token, Steam. Uh, there were maybe 2,000 users. And then in two years, this thing has exploded to a completely social media website space where we can live stream, where we can listen to music, where uh, we can have an Instagram clone, we can make photos, all these things. And this is just with one token and one community. This is what we created together. Now, give this power to more people on the Steam blockchain. What will happen? I have a good idea what will happen. I think there's going to be a lot of entrepreneurs out there mm. that are going to take the token and going to do marvelous things with it. And where will the value of Steam come from? That's very cool. If your token gets successful, so let's say DLive has their SMT, their smart media token called, well, let's call it DLive token, and it gets successful, it means that that token will consume a little bit of bandwidth on the Steam blockchain. And that means they need Steam power to pay for that bandwidth. And that's where the, the value of Steam will come from in the future. That's what I suspect, at least. And it's just really imagine, like just imagine 100,000, that's what Ned Scott said, in five years time, I want to have 100,000 entrepreneurs on the blockchain. That means 100,000 entrepreneurs that are tokenizing their community, their app, their website, whatever. And they all need a little bit of steam power to, to make those SMTs work. And yeah, it's, I think it's going to be a marvelous. And of course, these SMTs are not out yet. Hard for 20 is the first step. But it's very important because 
you want a smooth experience. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have this SMT token, you also want to onboard users with ease. And that's not possible right now. Right now, you have to go to a two-week check, which sucks. Because as an entrepreneur, you want to keep moving, right? You don't want people to wait two weeks before they can use your product. So Hard Fork 20 will be the first thing that's super important, easy sign. When do we expect Hard Fork 20? Uh, that's actually quite soon. They set the date on 25th of September. 25th of September. It's 25th coming. of September, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll so right. we have I, I agree with you. I think that's going to really be a game changer. When people can get in and get what you need right away, rather than waiting two weeks, that's an eternity in crypto. Yeah. That's not an eternity in crypto. That's an eternity everywhere. Can you yeah, imagine? Exactly. Oh, I want to join Instagram. And you get the app. And you want to start using it. You don't want to yeah. wait. People don't want to wait anymore. You know, it's not the era where we live in. I mean, back in the days, I don't know, in the 1950s, maybe people wanted to wait two weeks to get a subscription to the library or something. But nowadays, people, I want it now. I don't want to wait. And that is a huge problem on the Steam blockchain, which is going to be addressed with Hard Fork 20. It's in six weeks. Uh, the witnesses that are the people that are verifying all the blocks, all the smart people, uh, they are going to vet the code to make sure everything is in order, and then we will implement it. And I say we because... I'm also a witness with the Steam blockchain. I'm a witness with Adblock Brothers. That's my witness. And uh, yeah, of course, we'll take a look at it as well, just to see if we can find something. And uh, yeah, six weeks it will be implemented. And then, six weeks. <laughs> then the next, oh, this is also cool, it's also coming. So I'm talking about the SMTs. People have their own token. But there's also something coming. It's called HiveMind. And HiveMind is some sort of extra layer on top of the Steam blockchain where people can incorporate all kinds of cool things, uh, consensus mechanisms. So uh, you have to, uh, maybe it's, it's too complicated, I guess, for, for this interview. But yeah, that's Hive Mind, H-I-V-E-M-I-N-D. Hive yeah, Mind. I've heard some good things about that, and that'll be one for those of you watching this. You want yeah. to do some research on that. Look into it because it's got some wonderful opportunities. They're doing a lot. And in talking with people at Steemit that are employees now, that are working there, saying, hey, some good things are happening there. And so I keep yeah. seeing, again, the fundamentals. It looks really good. Yeah, and the thing is, what they're doing is insane. It's insanely hard. That's why it's taking so long. So you, if you want to have this hive mind, this consensus layer on top of the Steam blockchain where you can implement all kinds of cool rules, it also has to work together with the SMT. But that stuff is all being developed separately. So you have a team working on SMTs, a team working on hive mind. And at the end of the, the show, it has to work together. Otherwise, well, it would be very bad and everything would just break <laughs> and we don't want that. So they are working really, really hard. And of course, I'm not part of Steam Inc. I don't know 100% what's going on there. I have spoken with members of Steam Inc. And they are super passionate. That's what I know. And I know they are working very hard right now to build this for us. And I'm so, I was so happy to see Hard for 20 come out or have the announcement because it's the first announcement in roughly a year where there's really new development. And... I think in this time where the Steam uh, price is dropping a bit, people need some hope, I guess, or nah, a little bit of sign of faith. And, well, I don't, but, you know, people in general, you can say, look, there is development. Yes, the team is working and everything will be fine given enough time. Absolutely. I like the way you say that. And I think that is hopeful. And so for those of you watching this, think about that. Yes, we're acutely aware. We feel your pain, to quote a past U.S. president. We understand what we're going through and what you're going through. We mm -hmm. see the red. We see that red on coin market cap and other places. And so uh, you've got to make your own decision. We're not giving advice either way other than make sure you get education. That is the one advice we have. And so look at it. However, both of us, looking at what's out there, feel, okay, this is long-term. And long-term, I like the way you said it, Mark, on five years. We're looking at uh, five years or so, and it could be shorter than that, could be longer. We don't know. But we do know there's a lot of benefit from the community. There's a lot of benefit from seeing, getting feedback from people. And there's a lot of benefit from being able to repurpose what you're doing. You're creating content. And this makes it really worthwhile. Well, ex at Exile, tell us any, any final words that you might have or sage advice for that person who's watching it is thinking, okay, maybe there's hope in the midst of getting beaten up and they're uh, getting uh, knocked around and the, we're seeing the battle strategies when crypto is getting killed. What would you say to that person watching this now? 
Well, I would say that right now is the most important time to keep blogging. I believe every Steam token you manage to earn, because not everybody can buy, a lot of people are on Steamit or use DLive, DTube, one of the de decentralized applications to, to earn Steam. And there's no better time to earn Steam than right now. A lot of people are, are just leaving it for now. You know, there's more Steam to go around. And if you believe, like me, like I, that Steam will be more valuable in the future, then it's worth every single minute you put in there to, to collect an extra Steam token. Because yeah, I think in the future you will be very well off with everything I've outlined, where Steam will get a new, a new use case as well in the future with the SMTs. And when you combine all that, and yeah, I, I believe, and of course, I am, I, I love Steam. I mean, I've been here since 2016 and I've been through everything and I still haven't lost any of my passion for Steam. I still create content as hard as I did when I just started. I don't mind the price because I think it will be more valuable in the future. And that is something you need to keep in mind. So even though the payouts go down, just don't look at your payouts, look at the amount of Steam you earn. And if you earn one Steam token today, it's already proven that it was once $7. And I think it will be there again. So even if you earn one Steam token worth 90 cents today, given enough time, two years, maybe three, it can back, go back to seven again. And then it's just, yeah, actually worth it. And uh, yeah, keep that in mind and never give up, never lose hope and just have fun. I always say just have fun on the blockchain. Stop being so serious all the time. You, there's nothing wrong with making connections with people. Just saying, hello, thank you, how are you doing? Upload uh, a steep shot of a car you've seen or mm -hmm. a quote you've read. You know, it doesn't have to be deep, dark, heavy content all the time. Uh, it, it was like that in the beginning of Steam in Steam it, we had these super long articles that were rewarded the most, but that's no longer the case. You can earn something with a small content, with, yeah, with faster content, and just have fun. Do what you like and use everything this blockchain has to offer. I do everything. I make a steep shot. I stream my games live from time to time. I go live opening Steam Monster packs. Uh, if you don't know, Steam Monsters is a game that's currently being developed on the Steam blockchain where you can call it's a trading card game. It's super cool. Go check it out. That's all happening while we're talking. Uh, I use DTube to up upload videos. Uh, I can go on and on and on. And I just have fun because that's really, really important, especially in these times where everything is going down a bit. And yep, just exactly. Never give up. Just have fun and yeah, make the best of things. I like it. Never give up, have fun, make the best of things. Those are good, sage words of advice. Mm. Uh, Mark, known as Exile over on uh, Steemit, people can find you with E-X-Y-L-E -E, at Exile. Be able to do this. Subscribe to his channel. Uh, look at what he's doing. Follow him. Upvote him. Uh, he's got mm. some wonderful posts out there, and uh, we certainly appreciate uh, you being with us. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today, Exile. Thank you again for inviting me, Terry. I had a blast, as usual. And for those of you watching this, you have heard some wonderful sage words of advice. This is one of those interviews you want to go back and review because I, I know Mark. He's a buddy of mine. He's really good and he's genuine and authentic when he's on camera, just the same as when we're just alone sharing a beer, having a good time, being able to talk. He's got some real good advice. Follow his post that he puts out. There's a lot of wisdom in there. You can gain a lot from it. And really, we look forward to hearing from you. So in the midst of the tough times, we want to let you know we're right there with you. You're not alone on this. We're all together in this. Stay in there with the study and stay in there with the community of Steam. It's wonderful. I'm Terry Brock. Thank you very much for being with us today. <laughs>